Hey folks, welcome back to Ostrov. I'm sitting here looking at our one lonely ox over here at the new farm and I have been informed that you don't fix an ox by sending it back to the carpenter for repairs. <laughs> That's just not how it works. So apparently the proper way is to take our two-year-old bull here, make an ox out of him, grab him, and bring him over to here. And theoretically what? Someone walks him over and hooks him up? Could be. Cow shed. We've got Mar Marin Marina. Who lives here. Works here. Are we at the right farm? Or at the, not at the right farm. Well, you're at the... You're from that farm. Ye no. Who was I just clicked on? I have no idea. It was you. Who do you belong to? You're milking cows. You're from the, the cow shed. Oh, not from a farm. Yeah, that's right. So, cow shed. Okay. And you're over here milking. All right. And you already had that order anyway. Now, why is the bar at zero? Should be green, right? I don't know. Your health is kind of low. Why is that? Um, you are 41 years old, so that's not an age thing. Like that other time that we saw someone who was, I don't know, in his 60s maybe? So, your home is over here. Do you have lots of food variety? You do. And a good amount of income. Huh. Don't know what's up there. Anyway, you are now relocating cows. So you're going to go move an ox over there. And then eventually the carpenter's going to come. And can I cancel from here? Because I couldn't cancel from over there. One more order in queue. Okay. I f went back over here earlier saying uh, can I undo that all I can do is destroy or force repair I can't say uh, never mind now if I were to just right click no that doesn't seem anything I can do single or left click nope okay but we should have a a freshly uh, snipped ox being brought to the other farm. Sorry. My bad. <laughs> anyway. Am I recording? I am recording. Cool. Forestry is overloaded because I asked him to make more bark. And that was too much to handle. And then I got to thinking there already is 5,000 over here. So, 4,000 now. So, and you're probably delivering it, aren't you? Hello. Yep, there's a thousand bark. Anyway, I was informed that you need a person per batch working here in order to maintain the batch for those six months. Wish it said that kind of thing in here, or does it? Um, expose hides for six months, the tanning process. Every batch should be maintained by one worker throughout the whole period. Ah, uh, they did say it. Okay, yeah. Instructions. Okay. So, three workers in the tannery, and otherwise this batch is still being built. There's 200 available, and I assume when all the materials show up, that 1,000 in the water being, yeah, batch size, leather in queue still. So that arrived, we're working on this, and we're not doing any more butchering. So we still have a bunch of tallow sitting there, which is for soap. And that's the only place there is to store it. And I don't get the sense of it ever going bad. So we're not really in full production yet to be able to maintain a soap works. But let's take a look at it and see what that means. Soap's probably over here somewhere. Soap works. You are lime and bricks and sand and wood and nails and clay. It's possible. Where does it go? Does that finish off our little circle over here? I mean, that is probably the source for a while. The dairy's going to be over 
Hmm, there. So, cows, dairy, sheep, dairy, slaughter, tan, and soap. It makes sense that they would all be in the same area. Um, look at that again. Produces soap from lye and tallow. Okay. So the tallow is over here. And the lye is way over there. <clears throat> so from that sense, it really could be anywhere in between. It doesn't have to be packed into there. I mean, I left space in between to run a pathway kind of like this. You know, run a path up behind. Have we built the other one yet? You're right there. No. But a path up behind to... Uh, um, to get to the to the building behind there, I could put a soapworks there or there and path through if we wanted to. Um, it's been a couple days since I recorded. I'm trying to think of what I did last time. I'm thinking that this happened in between episodes. Yeah. So we, of course, last episode got our fields going and hardly got anybody to work over here to the last second. It was like the last job that the game was willing to put into the queue. They got that one all done. They came and they got this all done. And then they finally made it over here and got this all done. Which I thought was weird. This was the, this was paying 140% of normal. Yet that wasn't a factor apparently. Anyway, um, because of that we want more houses in this area. And I threw a neighborhood of six houses in, pathway down, to go to work. Or to go to uh, market stalls. I don't know that I need the small granaries here. I don't know. Can these granaries draw from these houses? I just I don't know that answer. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know how successful we've been here, but I don't know these folks have had enough to sell. So I guess we'll wait and see. I've got a big granary here thinking it will draw some of the the farm goods out of the area back to a more central location and hopefully can then interact with the rest of town. I may have to put a couple of small granaries right there to, behind this guy. But there's a pathway that comes up. Don't know where this path is going to end up going. But come off the main road into the markets. Maybe more houses right here looking you know, for, in, into a road that comes off, off the... Uh, the markets as possible but this right here should be close enough market wise distance wise to get a hold of food in here that was the thought of why to put it clear at the end so I think that's gonna be a viable plan sheep farm still needs to be built these guys are eventually to be built <clears throat> the um, fulling mills for the wool and this guy still can't find enough help to get us a second person so I think I'm going to have to give a boost over there. And I turn this back down, right? Yeah, back down to to normal pay. But let's give a boost over here and or... Boy, I hate to thin these guys down. I could take two guys off of this team over here. I could do that. You're taking a rest. And you're taking a rest. A team of three again. So make you three on season, one off season, off season just to make firewood. That's your plan over here too. Um, three and one. There's two here because they were actually doing some good for a while, chopping logs for firewood and taking a rest. So we could, I guess, do that in all three places. They're kind of all within range of accomplishing something. Let's just apply to all. So everything now is three on season, one off season, which means somebody already said, yeah, sure, I'll work there. Oh, <laughs> okay, we're, we're up and running. Okay, so we've got a lot of logs to take down. Um, a well first, a little closer source than here, and this one may be drinkable and this one not, I'm guessing. This platform doesn't say it there, but it says not suitable for human consumption here. But I think if a well was to be put here, it would say that, I'm guessing. Or else it would say it when you go to place it. I'm not sure which. Um, well, and I want to get this guy going just so I can get this torn down. I need to transfer all these goods into something. We're in June. They should be 
putting grasses on them by now. Are we loaded down here? No, these were like this last time. So, are we short on workers? Um, is it best here? Looking for a job, zero. Interesting. So we finally have enough new jobs added, at least as laborers. Let's see, those are workers. Going collecting more and more of the limestone and whatnot. This is actually going to take quite a while to take down. So let's pull two people out of here. Taking a rest and going to work. I'll leave you there for a while. This one, there's still 9,500, and that's completed. No, that's the lime kiln. It's the well's done. It's then they've got to slowly work this in. We have 200 available. We can store in here. Okay, that's the that's the quick lime. So there's no lime sitting here. It has been moved. It has not. It has been taken out and used somewhere. Okay. Well is finished. You're over here. Um, any other fires I need to put out before I kick this thing, the speed up on this thing? Um, so there is, there is a, a need for more houses in that we don't have anybody looking for work. I don't know that there's a need for more houses over here though. We're kind of about as far away from jobs as we can be. So there's definitely a need for work here. Um, but really just in our growing or our harvesting seasons. One job there, one job here. Eventually there'll be another one job there. And then there'll be market stalls. So that should all pop in as these houses start to build. Okay. So it seems like I went in and moved the houses that have the least amount of trees, which is just one. Everything is like 10 trees or more. So five trees to get this house done. Moved you first in line. These market stalls I've moved in. Let's... I'm only seeing one, two, three, four. Where are the other... Oh, because two of them didn't have a tree in the way. I went with this pattern for this market. Looks a little different. Um, I like the, the yellow... Is that sunflower? Might be sunflowers. I think so. Um, let's say two of them there gives us one house gives us the granary no that's the dairy don't know that we need the dairy yet well by then the sheep farm will be in so they may actually be making cheese by then I don't know the rest of the houses on the other side and then the houses over here on this side so let's try pushing these guys ahead. Uh, let's do it in order of the number of trees. There's a 10, and you are 8, so you can be in front of that one. I don't know if you guys can see these. I barely can. <laughs> 11, so you're after. You are 10, so you're right there. And you are 10. Right there. Okay. So the order of, of number trees have got to take down. So, yeah, it's important. Actually, it's important that this guy gets a complement of five. I can't even get person number three hired over here. And it's possible. Let's find out. Are these guys helping? Or have they given it all to the other crew? You are taking a rest, taking a rest, taking a rest. Why are these guys never working when I want to go test something? Speed two. Okay. Um, so, you're over here. We still have a full complement of builders, so this should go pretty quick. Um, oh, it's done. Okay, so I want you to make empty. And for real, make it empty. Dracachi's here. Dracachi, slow down. Charcoal, I've got 10,000 available and 16,000 in town. They'll take 63.29 deal. Don't even have to plan for that one. All right, so they're selling salt and lime. I bet you still what it's going to take to get people working out there to make our own lime. It might be cheaper just to bring a little bit more in once in a while. 500. Let's do that. 
we'll have lime in our trader as well as lime in the lime works we only have a limited amount of lime we can only make three rounds and we're done and i've yet to see anybody selling limestone so after that we're going to be buying lime all the time let's buy 300 dollars worth let's buy all the leather deal yeah and we'll get the the horse tack the saddlery up and running for good now so metal parts iron iron ore iron does it tell me 200 left let's get 500 we've got some funds looking at 1750 right now pigs cows horses flour sallow um let's get another 200 sallow keep boosting our food variety and it doesn't cost that much to do it horse where am I? Sallow, dried fish, potato. So we're good on those. To sell them real quick. Shoes? We do have 500 just right here. Let's do it. Deal. Um, buckwheat, charcoal, chicken, eggs. Nope. Uh, sunflower oil we haven't had for quite some time. In fact, we really could do with buying a little bit. Clothes. We finally up to 100 in town now. Okay, we'll leave that as is. Honey, apples, and hrolka. Okay, so we are done there. Child has been born. Great. And what am I What am I really waiting for to see? You are waiting for these ox, oxen to be a year old. So right there. The one year and the eleven months so when this one turns one year i think we'll see both of these converted into another plow for the other side if i'm if i've got that correctly um i don't think there's a need yet for a second person in off season though saying that i see i did that hoping somebody would get over there but we do have water and more is being brought right now we have plenty of hay okay and this hay, there's still 500 sitting there and the 500 sitting there. Okay, we're good. Um, nobody has touched these. These are probably going to need some help. 120s out here. Was there a fourth? One, two, three, there you are. Okay, if we have workers, let's use them out there. Okay. All right, so you are supposedly being emptied, but we don't have any laborers at the moment. So how are we going to fix that? And what is causing that? I mean, we've always had a surplus of laborers. And because of that, I basically turn laborers back onto everywhere. Now we don't have a surplus of laborers. <laughs> I think that's it, because we've always had a few ladies over here who were unemployed. And that we have one, and she is a laborer. So it's not that we have nobody to fill the jobs. We have some people that are filling those jobs, but they're yeah you know, they're unemployed, but the jobs are labor jobs. Three unemployed. But this shows none are looking for a job. Wealth of ninety nine. Unemployed wealth of 16. So it's not that we're too rich to work kind of a thing. It's just at the moment they're in between laborer jobs. Maybe it reevaluates at the beginning of each month or at some point, and maybe at that point they were on some kind of a labor job, you know, filling up another round of something, getting goods moved over to here. There's 50 lime reserved for someone to come pick up, waiting for. Yeah, Stanislav to not be taking a rest and actually working. <laughs> okay, so did our ox get delivered? Mm, excuse me? Plow needs repair. Been ordered. So did she haul the other one back? No, why is there no ox over there? Who are you? So you 
are... Uh, wait till you get out of the trees. You plow. You brought him back to do a repair that wasn't necessary to begin with. Is that what I'm getting at? There you are. Yep. Okay, well, you get, you're exercising them. You're going to haul them back. You're going to tap, tap, and say, wait a minute. There's nothing wrong here. And you're going to haul them back and cuss me out the whole way home. Yep. That's what's going to happen. All right. Speed it up. What you going to do? You're going to go take a rest, aren't you? Not you're repairing. Um. <laughs> and you're going to take him back. Okay. All right. So that little drama is now done. And we've got deliveries coming and going. And we'll have our one plow back. We still have plenty of supplies. This well went in. We're good. And I'm going to leave it for both for now. That's right. I didn't think about putting a well in for these guys. Let's put a stone well in. Where? At the market? Kind of sounds right. Do I drop it in... Like here? Place is occupied. What were these that just showed up? I don't know. Slow down speed. Like something just appeared there. <clears throat> right there. Well. What? Oh, logs just dropped in. Okay, okay. Guess I have to wait for those to officially leave, but... We are working now. They're coming from here. Okay. So, yeah. Let's up this one to five. Now, where can I steal some workers so we get some trees taken down? Um, we have plenty of wheat now. 180 flour. 30 flour. 510 out of 1,000 flour sitting here. Okay. So, over here we've got some dried fish, and it's already reserved to be taken out to a uh, to a market <clears throat> we have some regular fish and it's going to be taken out to a market we have 500 flowers sitting here that does have a timer so we could sell it when we need to these folks aren't buying flour they're trying to sell flour so I couldn't sell any to them if I wanted to okay so where can I grab some men um, we're short there we're short there and we're not making a whole lot of fish, and I'm kind of curious as to why. There's no, there's nothing that tells me how much fish is left in the area. So I don't know if it is a fish out kind of thing or not. We could experiment with that. Actually, how else can we analyze this? Resources. Let's go here. Fish over the years. Current year is right there and we're only halfway through the year you can see we've been constantly increasing our produced fish so spent sold everything kind of declined last year is that from <coughs> hitting a peak in the sense that we've we've fished ourselves out and starting to decline or did we have a labor issue in there that left us still fishing more than ever before but not processing as much I don't know we don't have a lot of waste that's the brown bar down there so I don't know what to make of that I mean we could as an experiment stick another fishing dock out over here somewhere but I didn't really want to get into that until probably when this bridge comes in and we get a community living out over here then we'll fish over here and fish over here and get another another uh, you know source of fish going on we could also fish out over here and give these guys another job that may be possible you so we can have this entire run here until we get to this embankment and these jobs could definitely provide it. Um, the road goes out over there. Too bad it can't be here so they could be at the end of the road. Cause the, the road to form all the way out. Dead end. 
think you'd probably look good right there. Comes out parallel to the bridge. We'll pop you in. Don't know when we'll build you, but we'll pop you in the list. Sheep farm is being worked on. So is this being dumped? It is not. We did make empty. We did. There's 4,200 there. I could force it with carters. And that's another place that absorbed a lot of labor. Are they actually doing anything? 3 are this time. Okay, including... What are you over here? What are you doing? You're dropping off building materials. Okay. So they're actually helping the builders to get more done. Builders are carrying a lot less of their building materials. So it's like, in a sense, it's almost an extension to these guys. They're, they're, they're basically becoming builders. Letting the builders work. or get so much more work done in the same amount of time. Okay. I like that. And then they're available for special orders. So having five here all tied up is not necessarily a bad thing. That gives us kind of like three extra builders. And we have a lot of building to do. I just wish we could somehow make them a couple extra loggers. <laughs> so, how are you guys doing over here? Can I place that well now? Right there. There we go. Now there's still a log in the way. <clears throat> Let's spin you around. Okay, it will kind of let me now. I guess it doesn't matter where they access it. Could be something like that. And they'll just kind of step off the road to get to it. Or right over here. I kind of like that. Market stall is completed. Okay. So let's control and T a little bit. Just like that. You can just without needing to take a tree down right there okay and let's move you up a bit uh, right in front of the first house give them something else to build until the uh, the trees come down in here there's still eight trees left eight where the house with five trees go I got out of order you're next okay now the one with eight they weren't already dropping materials on the building site were they no nope, don't see any Okay. All right, so sheep farm is going in. We may or may not have sheep this year, but we're going to get the building in place. After that, we're going for the granary. Which isn't truly necessary. But it's something to build. Let's push that off just yet. You are what? You're the dairy. You're a couple more market stalls. You're a village house that has a lot of trees behind it. And then you're the village houses that could go in immediately if we had something for you guys to do. With so many unemployed ladies over here. I guess I could justify putting in one. Right there. You almost had a food problem. But you went and picked up some more honey. You're almost having a money problem. Okay. So, again... More houses than jobs available. Not everybody's employed. I need more jobs for ladies out here. Market stalls and small granaries, I've hired them up again over here. So they're all running. There's no need to hire up these two for another year or so. And we're, I guess, running out of the need to keep stocking up. Oh, well, they did do that one. We've, we're one... Uh, charcoal pile short. One, two, three, four now. Okay. I'm trying to think of anything else that would work out here for a lady to work at. The soap works. Do ladies work at the soap works? Maybe that needs to be out here. Um, slow down so I can think. Nobody's waiting at the trader. Is there any hint? There. There really isn't a hint as to who works in what buildings, is there? Yeah. So production is carried out by mixing and boiling tallow. So that might be stinky. It takes 50 tallow, 50 lye, 50 firewood to produce a batch of 50 soap. Let's play with that. I don't see another row of houses. That's the road there. But I don't see that this truly needs to be right up against that road. So if you were to come out over here, 
and be on the same road that's going to feed the the fish dock right there and it doesn't actually need to be is not a building that affects the houses I know that it wasn't on the list that we saw a few episodes back um, but it might give more jobs I just don't know but I am kind of curious to see it so let's move you in right after that village house okay speed time up you're still having trouble now you're going to have to get potatoes and you still have enough funds to pay for them okay you got five coming in market stall and windmill you work all the way up there at the windmill okay so there is a pretty good reach for jobs all right you need water but that just means you're about to go get some which puts you probably here right that's her. She's got her bucket. There she goes. Womp, womp. And she's off. All right, so over here, we have a problem. We're into harvest season. That's the problem. Okay. So we've got one team of oxen back. We're good. We have no workers being queued. No labor being queued. Why is that? I don't know. Um, 20 labor limit. It's harvest season. Hmm. I would have thought they would have fired. Unless the game... No, I haven't fired here too. It's August. <clears throat> Does harvest season not start August 1? It's ripening still. It doesn't start August 1. I thought it did. It's a few days into... There it is. It starts August 4. It must vary... Does it vary each year? Depending on... I don't know. That's interesting. So at some point in August. Okay. Okay. So, too bad. Actually, here's this might be worth testing. Can I leave my mouse right there and move around the map? All right, we'll just let the map run. Speed it up. Does that growth continue at all? I don't think it does. Look at all of the uh, like two wheats and one barley or something like that over here. They're working away. Yeah, so... It does not continue to grow even though it's not being picked yet. Okay, that's what I wanted to verify. So over here we have nobody. We have two workers and labor wages. I can't I can't increase the worker wages. Okay. Well, let's kick the worker wages up to 120 and the laborers up to 120. And we're gonna call that done for manipulating over here. These guys never got anybody to put uh, grass on the drying racks. These didn't either. So it's going to be a, a thin season for hay. It is. Okay, so we are making barley over here. There's what the barley sheaves look like. Over here is a pathetic run of wheat. Much better over here. And I suspect the game is, it's given priority to workers, but it is not given priority to laborers over here. It's choosing that farm before this farm. We saw that last time too. After it's all done and there is nothing else important, then this thing filled up. So it, there, there's a calculation going on under the hood here that I'm not aware of. I can't force them out here unless I just turn them off over here. And I could. I mean, I could do this. Let's take you down to seven, and that'll be less there. Will the others be forced into here, or will they just go find other jobs like, like I don't know, hauling wheat over to the, uh, to the windmill? Yep, there's somebody hauling 60. All right, who just came in? You are... <clears throat> Barvinkave. 
slow down so I can think. You're the one that we buy the sheepskins from, but we don't need any more for a while. Let me verify that that's true. You're over here, 720 and 820, waiting another 180. Okay, that makes a thousand. Where's the other 280? Is it still sitting in here? No. Did I miscalculate? You're not in here. You're not in here. Well, we seem to be 280 short because we didn't make our own broadcloth. Huh. So we have 1,000 and 720. And sheep. I don't see the concept of sheep skins. How about tanned? Sheep skins, no. Uh, sheep hides. I don't know what to make of that, but we seem to be 280 short. So I guess until I figure out the, the mystery of that puzzle, we'll go ahead and buy 280. Deal. Alright, don't need more glaze, don't need iron, don't need more lime. Buckwheat, we're, we should be set on buckwheat forever now. Oh, no, 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 that's next year that all the buckwheat comes in. What over here? You are a potato. You are buckwheat. So we have you. Otherwise, we have still sitting in here 472. And we here still have our near a thousand and near a thousand. And I can't store any here. I'd have to build a, a granary. That's right. Although honey is moving in. Is there anything here that we tend not to get much of? Um, let's just pick carrots and move in buckwheat of our own and make that 1,000. And that'll get hauled in from the farm. We can store 10,000 here. Heck, for that matter, let's put, let's put 5,000 out here because we're never going to see more than a couple of hundred of each of these at any one time. If we're going to see any at all, we may still get quite a bit of a heading this way. How much honey is over here? There's 71 honey over here. And you have got honey, but I'm drawing from here. This is the central location, so I've got take from other granaries to get us up to 1,250. But So when this rehires again, she should go over there and take the, gran the, the honey out of this one. Okay, that one should have these controls. So apply to all and apply to all. Okay, so we're treating all of them equal now, except for the take from other granaries. That didn't change, right? Right, okay. So you, still no laborers. So when the laborers finish here, we'll see what happens. So let's finish this trade, then I'll kick the speed back up again. You... Actually, you're over here, so only what's sitting in the other trader. Sheepskins, potatoes, we could sell some? No. So this is our first potato crop, right? It says the town storage is 274. That means sitting in here. Because we're not actually storing them anywhere else, are we? Are we? No. Uh, there's no potato in any of these. Where's the 274? Does that I mean that's in all of the, the market stalls, I guess? So, potato. There you are. Two. Um, potato. Here. We just started harvesting 274 potatoes. Okay. All right, so we don't need to sell those. We'll wait until they actually start to go bad. Otherwise, we'll make use of them. So one last look then. Trading river, trading post, trading dock, sheep, potato, flour. All right, there's something we could actually sell. There's 940 in town somewhere. Let's sell, and we're going to be making it continuously. Let's sell 900 of that. 
and they'll be still making more to refill anything that that this shorted. So deal. And here, potato. Right there. No. X. Flour. There you are. 900. And temporary. Of course, we're doing this while... Well, someone's instantly going to do 300 of it. I uh, wish I could click on it and know who that is. One of you guys? Uh, going to work. Supplying resources. You're grabbing a cart and you're going to go do it. Okay, good. So you're going to take care of that. And I think we are done then. Potato cheese, potash, um, lime, iron, buckwheat. Okay, we're good. Speed you back up. Over here, nobody is doing anything. And over here, we're getting close to being done. Last worker's finishing these. Okay, and bringing in. And others will be... I think the, the harvesting is highest priority. Though it's interesting, she brought something in when she finished her run. I didn't think they would do that. Let's see, I want to watch her. I'm guessing she's slated to get all the way to there. So maybe she brings in what's in her hand. No, but she did bring those in. Interesting. Even though I don't have prioritized gathering in, if I were to click that, we should see these folks. How do they differ? She just got to work. Let's watch her. Does she leave a pile or like the other ones do, or does she fill herself up, then go immediately and put it away? That's what I suspect is going to happen. There'll be no more leaving it out. No, she did. She did leave it out here. He. Okay, from here that looked like a dress, but I'm wrong. Okay. Um, is leaving piles behind. And just continues. Okay, and then you're going to... Grab that pile and that pile. Interesting. Does it take longer to do the harvest? Or is that built into it somehow and I've missed it? And Banish, that was not the best plan, but maybe this has improved upon Banish's uh, original, you know, the how that game would typically run. Hmm. Okay. Well, <clears throat> we'll just go give that a try for a while then. We're done out here. We got one left. All right, so the cattle over here, we are up to our 100 on everything. So that fallow was very successful. And over here, we had one laborer. That's gone now. What happens over here? We're still at five. And who else has been desperate for over oh, back to September? So we're, we've been rehired again. Okay, and so it took a lot longer this time. Weaver Shop, we are up and running again. So you are now a on-season two people. You are two people, and you're going to be working like crazy. We're storing in here. We are. We have a thousand shoes in there. We have only 50 shoes in here, and we need to get this guy going again, the saddlery. One person, and let's make this, come on now, 500 and 100. So it's it's 1 to 5. What was, something just finished. I didn't get to see what it was. Sheep farm finished. Okay. And let's try to get finished here, although we're going to have these five. So if we don't get any laborers at all, we can still get the harvest in, I'm pretty sure. Except they do spend a lot of time walking to get here. So that might be a problem. Mm, do I have to shut everything down for another couple weeks and get this done? September? We'll get into the middle of October, and if we don't have a significant uh, amount completed here, I may have to do just that. Maybe shut the fish down early or something. Darn. So, yeah, we need more people to be able to run a second farm. That's pretty obvious. 
All right, so sheep farm's done. I was gonna say let's get one person in and start loading up materials, but I need the crops brought in first. So hay of 500 and water at 1,000. Okay, and can be anybody at that point. Over here, still just our five, completed a stone well. So builders are, <laughs> there they go. They finished that job. And these guys are hauling logs over. So they all seem to be helping out taking the trees down now. That is so wild. So many episodes of that one forester never really doing much. You guys are getting a log, so they want to do it. And I'm pretty sure that you guys were too. Well, they're all taking a rest now. But I think they just came back with a log. You guys are sitting on 16 of them. Okay. And you guys never seem to get enough helpers to do any good. Okay. Um, what if we were to intentionally take an arrest and take an arrest? Fire you guys to get over here and hopefully work on this one. And will you? They might not. They might not. They may end up working over here. What is this? We are out of thatch? Wow. I never thought I would see that. You need to get back to work. It may be time to bring a second person in over here. A lot of thatch buildings are going in. There is that. We had 2,000 stored in here. And that's gone. Interesting. That's a first for this city, this town. Okay, so we're short thatch on this one, and that's at the end of the run, so that's fine. And she just made her 100, and that's what they were lacking, so it's on its way now, right there. <laughs> but there's nothing left for the next building, though the next building is the soap works. So we'll get to see what that one looks like today. All right, so over here, did you hire up both? You did. So the guys that were the, the loggers came over here. And we're still running strong over here. Got almost 10,000 sitting there. So probably time to take one of you guys down too. Mining, going to work and mining. Every time I go here, they're all working. Every time I go over there, they're all, they're all resting. <laughs> yeah, some jobs just have a different, uh, different work ethic. Taking you down to get rid of the exclamation point. Just run one guy for a while. He'll make lots of firewood and keep that going. Tannery up in here, how are you doing? We are gathering raw materials still. What is happening? We have our 200. Why do we not have this batch running? What am I missing here? Is it lime? No, I guess we ordered some in specifically. So none of it's there. None of it's there. Twenty-seven hundred is there, so that's not it. Okay. So it's not bark. It's not lime. It's not salt. We got salt coming out of our ears. Ah, uh, there's at least well two hundred there. Did I put salt in this one? I did. There's a thousand sitting over there. Why is that batch not running? Three workers, three batches. We have the 200, right? We have no cow hides. Oh, the 200's right there. Okay, so we've had a batch come through the system already. Interesting. So it's two cows at a time. Are we ready for two more cows? Let's think about that. Now, we did take out our two-year-old bull that I didn't want to, but I needed another ox. Messenger from Balaklia. Um, so we have a five-year-old bull, and that is it. Now oh, we have a five-month-old bull who's coming in next to take over. Okay. So I don't want to do that. I could slaughter the five- and four-year-old cow. So, let's pause. Let's look at beef. 
beef. Very little rot. 20 perished. So this town just sucked it all up. It was, oh, good stuff. Yeah, ribeye. Mm. Um, let's see. Beef would have been over here. Right there. Beef is gone. Beef would have been where the apricots were. Gone. And apricots. Right there. Gone. Okay. So we have no beef left over. That's gone. All right. Um, didn't notice. No, Soapworks is right there. Okay. Balaklia. What can I do with you? And these guys have come. We never did get that second bridge done, so I still haven't proven that they can float through bridges. I know they can, but I've not actually seen it. Not seen what it looks like. Um, you're over here, and you are there. Okay. So you are selling lime charcoal. You're selling stone. And you're 16 more days. Stone. There you are, 1,800. So we're fine for a while. We still have 700 sitting here. Okay. So world map. And so I don't see anything there that we need to buy. There's no other food variety. We're, we're not ready to buy sheep. So they would buy flour from us. We're already up to another 470. So let's move 400. I don't know if that's true. Pause. This is gone. Where was that? Here. Flower 900 of 900. So you're already loaded up. 900 flower is gone. So this 400, 500 flower is real. Okay. So let's do the whole 500. When I do that, what happens? Am I robbing the town or can I assume that the, the town already has... 30 flour over here. Um, over here, probably this one. This one. Flour. 85 over there. There's no flour up in there. I think I can steal all 500 and not worry about it. Okay. So, back to Balaklia. Yeah. Flour, let's sell you 500. And deal, and let's quickly move 500 into here and make you a temporary. All right, get you up and running again. Then I gotta go check that other farm. In fact, I'm pausing because we're in the middle of October already. Clothes for sale? Nope. Leather for sale? Nope. Metal parts, sunflower oil, sallow. I think that is it. Honey for sale? Oh, that could almost be done, but it's not critical. It doesn't spoil, so it doesn't have to be done right now. What are we doing here? We're in trouble. Okay. Let's set up a national holiday. <laughs> and because I need some workers out here. I really do. Who can I steal? We're in October. All the boats are here. Why are all the boats in? Salting fish, taking a rest, taking a rest. Going to work, salting fish, and going to work. Just by chance, they're all here. Interesting. Um, who else could I steal? If I were to steal a couple of you guys, we're only dealing with flour. And we're all done with this one. And there's nothing else pending. Um, still hate to do that, though. We're into October. They're, they've all gone home to sell things from their home gardens. That's what uh, happens in October. They're all done. And it looks like they're all done. How did that work? Did we ever buy anything out over here? We bought quite a bit. Look at that. Nice. And the honey is going away. Is it building up? Although it's probably not a fair test because they just bought some honey too. Okay. So there, we got that coming in. How did our family do that was over here? The Matzos. You're now still not a lot in in wealth. Only, you know, nine and a half gold. 
but great food variety here. You're able to buy chicken, perfect. And you found yourself some fruit to dry. They're making it, they're surviving. Um, I think we need to do something like this. Turn off for October. And where am I, here? Turn off for October. And you're already off. And you never even made it. But you're going to steal those workers anyway. Who else can I turn off for October? We got two ladies in here. I can do that to them as well. October. We have two ladies in here. October. Tannery I can't touch. You aren't... Yeah, you are. You're working now. Uh, you too I could turn off for October. And you never hired. We didn't have enough people. There's nobody there. And we're not hiring anybody in the warehouses. But unfortunately, those that I just turned off, I think, are going to jump into all these labor positions rather than coming out over here. So I don't know if that really helped or not or if we're just going to lose a crop. It could be that this farm is really never going to work until we get the new neighborhood built. So it's just a, a premature start on the idea of a second farm for a town that wasn't ready for a second farm unless I had built it out here like I originally talked about because here we have a labor force. But out here, there's just it's just too far away. They won't work here. We ran into that problem with uh, with Banish, the series that I created too. As soon as we got toward the the perimeter of the map, we had a hard time even getting anybody to go out and build, let alone work at any of those jobs. You got to build the town toward the jobs first. So we are our five are working their butts off, but and I don't want to prioritize gathering. Leave it in the field. You can pick it up in the snow. Just get the crops cut off the ground. Okay. So we've got our plows in place. We've got food and water for them. And goods are coming in. We've got the buckwheat coming in. We're just not going to get any more any sunflower this year. That's what it's looking like. Um, I gave everybody the rest of that of the month off. Nobody's taking the bait. So, unfortunately, they're just doing other jobs right now. They're, I don't know, laborers for other places. This one hired up to make sure the boats are okay. Boats are fine there. Boats are in trouble here. Where's this boat? You're coming in? No. You're, where's boat number three? I don't know. Oh, you may be hauled in. Fishing boat. Show path. No. No. You're the one, right? I don't know. Oh. That was it. And it's being repaired. Okay. Never mind. So as soon as this one comes in. Right here. They'll grab that one and get to work on it. Okay. <laughs> so, over here... Apples, still waiting for this to happen. You guys are at still year one. Okay. Yep. Um, house finish and a married couple took it. Great. 21 and 18. Wonderful, wonderful ages. Yep, young couple. Perfect. And they came in with 94. So, their home had 30. Uh, back to here. And so she brought in all the money, right? So she came from this home with 20. How did they get 94? Unless they cleaned out the income of, of their family and took most of it with them. Wow. That's a pretty good nest egg. Yeah. Maybe a little bit is contributed from all their family members, including these other houses. So his brother and sister from two different houses so that one and that one or something like that I don't know but they they had a great start 
Now they're going to go and buy all that they need for their house. Get it all set up to go. How are we doing? No helpers. And we're back. We're up to November now, so no one's going to... You know, they're all back to work again. Marefa's visiting. And where are we at? We're at that hour mark. Wow. Marefa, you want to do what for us there? Okay. No more buying wheat. That's done. Honey, textile, broadcloth, uh, warm clothes, horses. Don't need to buy anything. Demand, sunflower, dried fish. We've only got 100. Okay. Sunflower oil, buckwheat, flour. Buckwheat, I don't think goes bad. So we'll hang on to it. Cancel. Flour, nope. 200 is we need to stop. Uh, chicken eggs, nope. Horseshoes, uh, lost you. There we are. Salt, we could do salt. Let's do that. Let's sell you 5,000 salt. Nope, 1678. Let's pause. I can't. Okay, 1678 deal. Pause. Um, salt. Right there. 1678 temporary. Is that right? 1678. Okay. At the bottom here, iron, metal parts, and flax. All right, so that is done. We'll sell them some salt, and you guys will be immediately bringing some in. So two of you are grabbing 300. Resources, resources. Okay. Selling the garden produce still? Really? So you're on your way back from doing that. Okay. Okay. Even though it's this late, they're still bringing it in from their houses. That's what's up. Interesting. So there should still be... Yeah, that was only like, I think, 130-something before. Yeah, it's, it's all still kind of rolling in. There's garlic on its way. <clears throat> You've been emptied out, and you... Yeah, I think these folks are grabbing all the goods and bringing them back. So that everything is centralized over here. These guys still seem to be able to go over there and draw from it, though. So that gets it all in one place, easier accounting, and it will reach the other places. Which could be employed, except we have nobody living out here. So they're just, they're just future-proofing. So are we done... I mean, this obviously is not going to get done. And I guess it would give us something to look forward to next time. I'm just going to speed it up and race through it. But we'll start here next time. Let you guys talk about this. And obviously the answer is this should not have been even put here until more houses have been put in. But that is a, a hard balance to do. Because once you put them in, they're, they'll go broke because there aren't enough jobs. So you gotta, one of them's gotta be, gotta fail before you can get the balance, you know, get things back into balance. So, yeah, it is what it is. All right, I'm gonna stop it right there. Thanks for watching, folks, and I'll catch you next time. Bye bye now.